We have Genuine Parts Company, Auto Parts. They're a two-star. They're currently at $138.80. Yahoo analysts believe they can move up to $153.64 in the next 12 months. Hey guys, in this episode of this week's Winning Stocks, we're covering January 8th through the 12th of 2024. And first, we're going to start off with the S&P 500. We know we always start with the S&P 500, the Dow and the NASDAQ, because they give us an idea of where the market is going overall. So we saw that the market moved up nine weeks straight, or the S&P 500 moved up nine weeks straight. Then it took a move back last week. Thought it was going to be longer. I thought it was going to be prolonged a few weeks because each of these candles represents a week. But it just dipped back that one week. And now it started to move up again this week. If we look at the Dow, we see something similar. We see it moved up nine weeks. It formed a doji, meaning it ended in the same place that it started by the end of the week. And then this week it moved up just slightly. And the NASDAQ. Same thing. Nine positive weeks. Last week was negative. This week was positive. So let's take a look at the stocks on our watch list. And first, we have Genpact Limited. Now, um, if you guys are familiar with this week's winning stocks, you know I break these stocks down into three tiers. Three star is the highest tier, most fundamentally sound. Two stars is a little below that. One star is below that, but still fundamentally sound. Genpak Limited is a three star. They're currently at $34.80 a share, but Yahoo analysts believe they can move up to $38 in the next 12 months. This stock is pretty much near the limit of what Yahoo analysts suspect it's going to move to um, within the next 12 months. So it is actually going to be removed from the watch list after this week. Next, we have Atrion Corporation. Atrion Corporation was positive a few weeks, but then if we look at these last two weeks, this one had moved up significantly, but then it dropped and ended up almost back where it started. And then this week that just passed, it dropped even further. So it's not a good sign for Atrion Corporation, but it's a three-star. Yahoo analysts don't have an estimate for where they feel it's going to move, but based on P.E. ratios of the last five years, my estimation is it can move up to $392.55 from its current price of $350.99. Next, we have Weiss Markets. Weiss Markets is a one star. And they've sort of been up and down, but they were down this past week. We want to see what they're going to do coming into this next week, but they were down this last week. They're at $61.98. Yahoo analysts don't have an estimate, but my estimate is that they can move up to $78.81 based on P.E. ratios. 
Bristol Myers. They are another one that will be removed after this week. They're currently at $50.31. They're a two-star. But Yahoo analysts only estimate they can move up to $55.02. We have Marriott Vacations. They are a one-star. And the last three weeks, we see a negative candle, a doji, and a negative candle. They're not doing that great, but they're sort of holding their ground. They're at $83.99. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $102.29. Hershey Company. Oh, Hershey broke my heart this week. Um, and, and you can see why if you look at um, this week's option picks. In any event, Hershey Company is a three-star. They're currently at $190.64. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $210.64 in the next 12 months. We have Nexstar Media, media organization. They are a two-star. They're currently at $171.82. Yahoo analysts believe they can move up to $198.73. Now, they actually made quite a sizable move up this week. We have Genuine Parts Company, Auto Parts. They're a two-star. They're currently at $138.80. Yahoo analysts believe they can move up to $153.64 in the next 12 months. Omega Flex, they are a three-star, currently at $72.74. They moved up a few weeks. They moved down for two weeks, but now they're maybe they're starting to make a little move. We want to see what they do coming into next week. Yahoo analysts don't have an estimate for them, but my estimate is that they can move up to $111 and 98 cents in the next 12 months. Biogen, they had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They had eight positive weeks. Some of them were dojis, but this last week was a negative week. We see a little negative candle there. They're currently at $248.12. Yahoo analysts believe they can move up to $317.94 in the next 12 months. And here's another one to be removed. The famous PepsiCo or Pepsi. They are a one star. Currently at $167.27. Sort of stuck in a sideways pattern. Yahoo analysts believe they can go up to $170.57 in the next 12 months. Then we have Chevron Corporation. Chevron Corporation is a one star. I'm sure you're familiar with Chevron, the gas station. They are $147.27. Yahoo analysts believe they can go up to $162.27 in the next 12 months. 
right, so that's it for this week's winning stocks. Um, please look at our well, there's a couple of videos on the channel. One, we have one about the difference between stocks and options. And then we have this week's option picks that you could take a look at as well. In any event, have a great day, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.